Welcome to the Kemp IT Law Vlog. I'm Deirdre Moynihan. Today we're looking at how the GDPR applies to transfers of personal data outside the EEA. The good news for exporters is that the GDPR's rules that regulate cross-border transfers of personal information to a large extent replicate the current regime and even include additional options for exporters. Helpfully, Current adequacy decisions, standard contractual clauses and binding corporate rules will remain effective until they are amended, appealed or replaced in accordance with the GDPR. New concepts of approved codes of conduct and approved certification mechanisms may potentially provide more options to data exporters. And the list of derogations under the GDPR, things like consent, transfers necessary to perform a, con a contract or necessary for the establishment, exercise or defence of legal claims, broadly mirror those set out in the current regime. However, the GDPR, as with its other aspects, broadens and deepens the obligations applicable to data exporters. BCRs must specifically address 14 issues set out in Article 47. This list is more comprehensive than currently set out in the Article 29 Working Party's recommendations. However, it's likely to make the approval process easier as BCRs that specifically meet the GDPR's requirements must be approved by the relevant regulator. It's also expressly clear that transfers required by judgments of courts or tribunals or decisions of administrative authorities outside of the EEA are permitted only if they are based on an appropriate international agreement. Data exporters will therefore likely be required to find another basis to legitimately transfer personal information in response to these requests. It's worth noting, however, that this restriction will not apply in the UK because it falls within the UK's opt-out in relation to justice and home affairs. This could potentially result in a flow of data through the UK to avoid this restriction and it will be interesting to see how it will work in practice. If you're interested in other aspects of the GDPR, breach notifications, fines or controller to processor obligations, we have a number of vlogs and blogs on our website at www.kempitlaw.com.